good afternoon one and all so in this session we are going to learn the most important concept of mongodb that is aggregation so what is aggregation what is the difference between aggregation and find method we can look into this session so general ga we can implement the aggregation by using a method called aggregate so what is aggregation and what is the difference between the find method aggregate method can perform some processing and provide the results in customizer format whereas find method will provide the results as it is without performing any processing ఒకవేళ మనకు అవుట్పుట్ కనుక ఏదైనా కస్టమైజ్డ్ ఫార్మాట్ లో కనుక రావాలి అనుకుంటే కనుక వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు యూస్ అగ్రిగేషన్ ఇన్ మాంగో టీపీ సో అగ్రిగేషన్ యూస్ చేయడానికి వేర్ ఆర్ సర్టెన్ పెరామీటర్స్ నౌ ఫస్ట్ వన్ అగ్రిగేట్ మెథడ్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ ద రిజల్ట్స్ ఇన్ మోర్ ఫ్యాషన్ మోర్ ఫార్మాట్ జనరల్ గా మనం అగ్రిగేట్ మెథడ్ యూస్ చేసేటప్పుడు వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు యూస్ డాలర్ గ్రూప్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఎ స్టేజ్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద డాలర్ గ్రూప్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ అండ్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ స్టేజ్ ఆఫ్ అగ్రిగేట్ మెథడ్ విచ్ ఈస్ యూజ్ టు గ్రూప్ ద డాక్యుమెంట్స్ బేస్ అపాన్ ద రిక్వైర్ ఫీల్డ్ ఏ ఫీల్డ్ మీద మనం అగ్రిగేషన్ పెర్ఫామ్ చేద్దాం అనుకునేది డాలర్ గ్రూప్ లో మనం మెన్షన్ చేస్తాం అండ్ నౌ ద ఫస్ట్ పారామీటర్ ఆఫ్ డాలర్ గ్రూప్ విల్ ఆల్వేస్ బి అండర్ స్కోర్ ఐడి అండర్ స్కోర్ ఐడి డిఫైన్స్ విచ్ గ్రూప్ యూఆర్ పర్ఫార్మింగ్ ద అగ్రిగేషన్ ఒకవేళ అన్ని రికార్డ్స్ మీద కనుక మనం అగ్రిగేషన్ పెర్ఫామ్ చేద్దాం అనుకుంటే కనుక అండర్ స్కోర్ ఐడి నల్ కింద మనం చూపించాలి దట్ ఈస్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు ప్రాసెస్ ఆల్ ద రికార్డ్స్ దెన్ వీ నీడ్ టు ప్రొవైడ్ ద నల్ వాల్యూ ఫర్ అండర్ స్కోర్ ఐడి ఫీల్డ్ it is same as group by phase in dbms so regular dbms so manaki group by having class edaithe undo the same phase will be applied here for dollar group also right so i quickly open my terminal now i will connect to mongo shell and use my database so let me show the collections first right i will remove one connection db dot macbook dot drop oh, sorry db dot mac book dot drop now again i will show the collections yes now i am going to create a new collection db dot create collection so let me make my collection name as mac pro now i am going to press enter now the collection is created successfully now i am going to insert the data db dot mac pro dot insert one of so let me insert the first data here let me mention it as eno so let it be the value any value we are going to take four types of fields the first one is eno comma the second one is e name so let me mention the name and the third field is e salary so let me mention certain salary for an employee comma the fourth field is e addr let me mention certain address now i am going to press enter now the data was inserted successfully coming to the second one so let me change here uh, let me add it as hyderabad and let me add the salary as 2000 let me change the name to bunny and let me change the eno as 200 now i am going to press enter yes now i am going to use insert many method so we can insert the data using insert many so for this we can change it here so we need to provide the data as array format so insert many so here i am going to uh, mention the first value that is 300 so name as certain different name here we can provide certain duplicate value so that how the aggregation will be performed we can look into that so 300 uh, let me uh, make it as 3000 and let me make the address as hyderabad itself only hyderabad similarly i am going to add the next one so eno mention it as 400 comma e name mention it as vinny comma let me add e sal let me make it as 4000 and let me add e addr as chennai one sec let me write it as mumbai itself only we will add the second one mumbai yes now i am going to close this one now i am going to add the another one so let me add eno make it as 500 let me add e name let me make it as uh, and any different name uh, comma next uh, let me add e sal let me make it as 5000 
comma let me add e d d d r let me make it as chennai uh, yes i am going to close this one similarly i am going to add another one e n o that is employee number let me make it as 600 comma e name let me add it as zini and similarly let me add e salary let me make it as 6000 comma let me add e a d d r let me add itself as chennai only now i am going to close this one i am going to add the last field e n o let me make it as 700 comma e name let me add it as yenni comma let me add e salary as 7000 comma let me add e a d d r as hyderabad and closing quotations hyderabad yes i am going to press enter oh one second correction yes i am going to close the array i haven't closed the array yes yes the documents was inserted successfully now i will retrieve the data dv.macpro.findoff.pretty yes all the data was inserted successfully now on this we are going to perform the aggregation now our first query will be like this so let me uh, go to the queries one so the first query will be like this to find the total salary of all the employees so employees of a total salary and find out salary. so for this i am going to write like this so here i am going to use an aggregation db dot uh, let me make it as a uh, mac pro dot aggregate of here i am going to pass the aggregate as an array itself and here i am going to add the dollar group so dollar group now since we are going to calculate the all we are going to pass underscore ad as null since the query is like this we are going to retrieve the total salary of all the employees since the total salary of all the employees means underscore id equal to null comma total salary is the field so let me group this one since total means dollar sum which is called accumulator operator colon here i am going to mention it as dollar e sal since the field is e sal so since we are providing dollar means it is going to calculate the values from e sal now i am going to press enter and here you can clearly see that the total salary of all the employees was retrieved. Here we have used an operator called dollar sum, which is called accumulator operator. So MongoDB provides an operator called accumulator operator in which, which is used in dollar group stays. So dollar sum means it returns the sum of numeric values and dollar average means returns the average of numeric values. And dollar max will return the highest expression of the group and dollar mil will return the lowest expression of the group. So aggregation is performed by using these type of accumulator operators. Now the second query will be like this. We need to find the average salary of all the employees. So to find the average salary of all the employees, we can write the rewrite the query is like this. So we are going to use dollar group and here we can change the field value. So let me change the field value as AVG salary or average salary. And here I am going to mention it as dollar AVG. So which will return the average salary of all the employees. I am going to press enter. So average salary of the employees was retrieved successfully. Now what is the third query? To find the maximum salary of all the employees. So we need to find the maximum salary of all the employees. So the query will be changed like this. So here I am going to make it as max salary. And I am going to change the accumulator operator dollar sums to dollar sum to dollar max and i'm going to press the enter so the maximum salary of the employees is 7000 similarly we can retrieve the minimum salary also so change it to minimum salary and change the accumulator operator so min and similarly here i am going to mention it as m i n now i'm going to press enter so minimum salary was retrieved successfully now what is the fourth one or fifth one to find the maximum salary based upon CT wise and here the aggregation will work very very effectively. We need to find the maximum salary of the employees based upon the CT wise. So for this here we can mention dollar group. So I am going to mention the dollar group value in which the underscore ID will be like this. So I am going to find the CT 
maximum salary. So for this, I am going to add E A D D R. Since we have created the field as E A D D R, so based upon E A D D R, we are going to find the maximum salary. So underscore ID is equal to E A D D R, and maximum salary is equal to dollar max, which is equal to E salary. So based upon the C T wise, we can retrieve the data. So Hyderabad maximum salary is seven thousand, Mumbai maximum salary is four thousand, and Chennai maximum salary is six thousand. That's why we have given duplicate entries in our data. Now, what will be the next query? So next query will be like this: to find the city wise total salary. So we need to find the city wise total salary. So for city wise total salary, we can rewrite the query as like this. So we are going to rewrite the query. So let me mention it as underscore id equal to e d e d r and change to max salary to total salary and change the dollar max to dollar sum. So city wise, we retrieve the total salary of the employees. So press enter. So city wise, the Mumbai total salary is five thousand, Chennai is eleven thousand, and Hyderabad is twelve thousand. Now, what will be the next query? To find the city wise average salary. So similarly, the city wise average salary is retrieved like this. So underscore e d r. Here I am going to change this one a average, and I am going to change the accumulator operator dollar sum to dollar a v g. So the same operator that is e sal only the field value. So the average salary is four thousand, and Mumbai average salary and Chennai average salary. And finally, the last code will be like this: to find the total number of employees city wise. So we need to calculate the total number of employees city wise. So for this, we can rewrite the query like this. So here underscore id e a d d r. Here we can write as average salary. We are going to replace this one with employee count. And here I am going to use dollar sum. So. And here I am going to pass a value called one, which is a default value, so that we can retrieve the count value based upon the city. So employee count is two, and Chennai employee count is two, and Hyderabad employee count is three. So in this way, we can perform the aggregation in MongoDB. So in the next video, we are going to make a session on aggregation pipeline in MongoDB. Thank you.